Honda Slugger Z1K Power Load. Big thanks goes out to Ross Hubner for sending this out to us so we can get a review on it for you guys. And um, as I'm sure you can tell by the way we're dressed, it's a little cool on this day. I wear shorts year round, but the fact that I'm wearing yeah, sleeves should tell you something. It's like a 40 ish degree day, a little bit of wind at our backs for once. And it was kind of funny because Ross said, do whatever you want with these things. So we did whatever we wanted with it. It was 40 degrees and we hit pretty much everything but the kitchen sink with it once we got the 52s out of the way. I mean, I figured around the baseball field, why the hell not? This one was a 26.5, and this is considered a power load, which is Louisville's terminology for a full ounce of inload. This definitely did feel like it had a little more inload to it than the Stephen Lloyd Z1000, which is basically what this bat on paper and in my hands and visually looked exactly like and felt exactly like. And that's not a problem at all because I felt like the Lloyd was a good bat. I did a review on it earlier in the year. If you want to check it out, check out the corner up there uh, where I've put a link up there so you can go check it out. Let's over to the lab real quick and check out a few things before we get back to the field and start launching some golf balls with this thing. <laughs> So on a scale, this 26.5 came in at 26.7. And with the swings that Ross had on it before we got started, looking at the mid-250s for compression, it looks like. And after about 75 to 100 swings that we put on this thing from the day that we got it, including the cold day of BP here that I figured would have this thing failing compression, it's still coming in at the 250 mark. That's very impressive. Louisville has done a great job the last couple of years of making stuff that holds compression and still performs very well. And a quick look up and down the bat here. Just kind of checking some stuff out. You can see this webbing that I'm referring to. If you can see it in the picture here, this is what I refer to on some mats as webbing. It's just tiny little lines of what looks like spider webs going through the paint here. Certain paints and finishes and sheens won't show it, but uh, this particular color did. You can see it here. And all it is is the paint flexing with the barrel when it's struck with a ball. It is 1,000% cosmetic. There is nothing wrong with a bat doing this. And I think it looks kind of sexy. I'm not going to lie. You get a bat that's all webbed up looking she lets you know she's ready to go to the ball game. So as promised, we're going to hit some golf balls with this thing. Uh, let's head over to Augusta at the first tee box and see what's going on. So I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat the fact that we were hitting pretty much anything with this thing. BP Rockets, Classic Kids, 44 the hard one there. There's uh, even a couple of 44 575s in there. I mean, you name it, we hit it with this thing. I knew it would hold up. I didn't expect it to hold compression the way it did, but definitely had a lot of fun swinging this thing. It's no secret I've been a fan of the Z1000 line from Louisville for the last couple of years. Last year's Lloyd, this year's Lloyd, loved him a lot. This thing is the same exact bat, which is a little bit more booty to it. No reason not to knock this thing with the stamp of approval. Hats off to Louisville for making a good durable bat that holds up for multiple rounds of BP. It still performs well. You can't go wrong with it. And hopefully a certain someone will stop crying because the BP hero finally enjoyed a Louisville. And if you happen to stop in and watch this, then you know that I'm talking about you. Sleep tight tonight. The BP hero does, in fact, enjoy a little bit of Oh, tippy top. Who cares? How do you know it? Paddy Ego. <laughs>